So here's our procedure on developing a roll of 120 film. This is what it looks like when it comes out of your camera. And we'll be putting it on this plastic reel, which is inserted in this tank. What I'm doing here will need to be done in absolute darkness in one of the uh, two film loading rooms. The film loading rooms are in our hallway here. And um, very small. And there's two switches on the wall, one for the white light, which you'll be turning off when you process the film. And there's another switch that is the in-use light that's outside that shows that um, you're presently using the room. Um, these, these doors do lock, and I would recommend locking them um, while you're doing this procedure. So here I'm going to simulate what you're actually going to be doing in absolute darkness. So you want everything set up so it's easy to find because it's going to be pitch black darkness. Okay. All right. The film's going to be looking like this with the word exposed on this paper band. I'm going to take it out of the camera. You may want to break this band before you shut the lights off because sometimes that's a little difficult in the dark. Um, so what we're going to do now is unfurl the film and there's a paper backing here that protects the film from light and you want to get past that and then all of a sudden the film starts and you want to separate the film from the paper. Avoid touching the emulsion side which is the inner side and try to just handle it by the back. And eventually you get to where it's taped down. Um, they use masking tape now. And that can be a little problematic, so it's good to try to get the masking tape completely off of here. And then the paper goes into the garbage. And here's your film. And this the actual reel that you're putting the film on has these spirals and there's only one opening and that's where you're pulling the film through. So you get the film started here, pull it past these ball bearings, pull it around as far as you can to get started and then um, you just kind of walk it on using your fingers to feed it ahead as you wiggle these two pieces back and forth. If it gets caught like that, you want to wiggle around and make sure you got it right. Sometimes the film gets a little curly and it's difficult. Um, it takes a while to get the feel of getting the film on the actual reel and you need to practice that out in the light before you try to do it in absolute darkness. And we have this um, bin of, um, of scrap film that you can use to practice with. Okay, if you have absolute, um, if you feel like you're absolutely failing at doing this in the dark and you start to panic, what you need to do is just take your piece of film, throw it in the tank, and then um, put this rubber cover on. And then the film is protected in light tight, and you can turn the lights on and um, come up with some alternative plan later. Okay, so once the film's on the reel, you need to put it in the tank. Um, there's a center tube that actually the reel goes into before it goes into the tank. You can actually set it up with a tube in the tank too. Sometimes it's, it helps you to not drop it on the floor and lose it in the dark. Um, what the center tube does is complete the light trap that um, the funnel creates and if that's not in there your film will turn black. 
because it'll be exposed to light. So it's very important that you don't forget the uh, center column. Uh, after the center column goes in, you put on this funnel, and that fits in with a bayonet. So it kind of clicks shut. So you just turn it clockwise until it clicks. Once it's in this position, uh, it's totally light tight. Um, then we do have the rubber cover, which um, protects it from light more. Um, but mainly that makes this um, watertight so you can agitate it. All right, so once you get to this point, you're ready to come out to our darkroom sink area and process the film with the chemicals. All right, so here um, we are at the sink, and we're going to take this rubber cover off the tank. We're going to pour out um, 600 milliliters of the developer, which is on the right here, and it's labeled as developer. And we pour that into the tank. And then we set our timer. Make sure that the lid's on tight. So don't want it to leak. All right, we'll set our timer here at seven minutes. And as soon as we set the timer, we start agitating. You agitate by inverting the tank while you rotate it. And you want to give it a constant 15 seconds to start out. And then just set the tank down, preferably in the sink. I'm going to do it on the counter here because I want to show you how you tap it. You want to tap it a couple times, especially right after that first agitation. Um, to bring any air bubbles to the top, otherwise sometimes those can end up being um, clear spots on your film. All right, now what we're going to do here is agitate for five seconds every 30 seconds. So now when this um, sweep hand comes up to the five, I'm going to agitate again. And I'll do about four inversions. set the tank down here in the sink. Um, the standard time with this developer is five minutes. With the negatives from the Holga camera, we generally want to go a little more just because um, the plastic lens doesn't have much contrast and getting enough contrast in your Holga pictures is always a challenge. All right, now we're going to give this another five seconds of agitation. And we'll just keep going with this agitation scheme until the five minutes is up. Mm. All right, here we're doing our final agitation. After the seven minutes is up, the developer will get poured down the drain and we'll rinse out, rinse off the film by filling the tank with water twice. So we take off the rubber, rubber cover and then just pour the developer down the drain. These faucets have a lot of pressure, so be kind of slow about starting the water flowing. Get your tank under there. While that is um, filling with water, you can measure out your fixer, which is the second tank. And again, 600 milliliters will be a big black mark there. It's full, we're dumping it. We'll do that one more time. There's our 600 milliliters of fixer. This is full again. Dump it out. And now we pour in our fixer. And again, the standard time is five minutes, and we can just go with that. 
After we're done fixing, we have to remember to pour the fixer back into the tank because that gets used over and over and over. Okay, so now we have our fixer in here. Make sure that, that the lid is a little tricky to get it completely on. And if you don't have it completely on, you're going to be splashing chemicals all over the place. So make sure that you have that completely on. And then um, set the timer to five minutes. And the agitation scheme is identical to the developer. So we start out with 15 seconds. Again, completely inverting the tank and then rotating it as you go. There's our 15 seconds. We're going to tap it on the sink and then just let it sit until we get to the, the sweep hand gets up to the five again. All right, so again, we recycle the fixer. So we take the lid off the top of the tank and as soon as our timer's out, take the rubber lid off of here. Pour the fixer back into the tank. And then replace the lid. Now, again, the tank goes underneath the running water for one minute. Set the timer at one minute. And next we're going to be using the hypo wash, which speeds up the washing process. So if it's just underneath under the water like this, the film takes 20 or 30 minutes to wash. If we use this, it only takes five. So again, 600 milliliters. And you may want to dump out your tank once here just to make sure you have a full change of water. And after the one minute water rinse, we'll do one minute of the hypo wash. Alright, the hypo wash requires um, a little bit of agitation throughout the minute. So again, we pour that into the tank. I'm not even going to bother putting on the rubber lid. I'm just going to hit this one minute and then swish it around that whole minute and then dump it down the drain. So after our one minute, this again gets dumped down the drain. And now we do a final five minute wash under running water. Set the timer at five minutes. Okay, so after our five minutes is up, over, we turn off the water, dump it out, and there's only one remaining step, and that is to dip the reel of film in photo flow. And that's a wetting agent that just helps remove the droplets from the surface of the film. So you can take the parts of the developing tank and put it on the drying rack here. The photo flow is kept in a small developing tank and usually behind the faucets. And that gets reused and reused. So what you do here is to open up the tank, dip this in for about 10 seconds. And after you pull it out, you want to really shake it to make sure you get as much of this, um, much of the moisture removed from the film as possible to avoid uh, marks. Okay, so we lift it out of the photo flow. And what we're going to do now is just shake the reel and try to get most of the uh, moisture off. Okay, so. After we're done shaking it off, we can pull the film off the reel, and we do that by kind of bending it in and then pulling it off. And you should have 12 exposures there, if you're lucky. And again, this gets put on this drying rack. And then we come over to the drying cabinet and just pull that open and clip it to one of these metal clips at the top. Hang that up there, 
and then there's yellow clips to the side here and you want to put that on the bottom because if that isn't clipped at the bottom the film will tend to roll up and stick to itself um, while it's drying. Okay, so we have the film in the drying cabinet, close the doors. Um, it should be on the on position and the temperature should be on medium and then it takes about a half hour so you can just set the timer. It goes up to five hours so halfway to one is a half hour and come back in a half hour and retrieve your film. Okay, after the half hour, the dryer will turn itself off, open it up, take the bottom clip off, and here you want to inspect for moisture because if um, there's any moisture at all, it's going to be at the bottom here. And uh, it's nice and dry, so I'm going to take it off of here, shut the door, and take this over to the light table. I'm going to get, take a negative preserver out from the drawer that says 120 and hold this button in to turn the light table on. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this film into strips of three. Starting with the beginning of the roll. You want to put it in here so it's um everything's right reading so that it says Ilfra Delta 100 Pro here. I'm going to make sure we can read that. And just put all these strips away. And you may want to, there's a space at the top here where you can put the date and label your film. It's a good idea. And there we go. So there we have a roll of film ready to proof.